The following procedure is a bump test and calibration for an MGD unit. This is a mains voltage supply unit and caution should be applied when removing the MGD cover. The tools required are a digital voltmeter with a resolution to two decimal places, crocodile clips and or a test probe, a flatbed screwdriver and a Merco calibration kit which includes your cylinder of calibration gas, flow regulator, flexible non-absorbent tubing and a vented calibration hood. This is the MGD unit. The MGD has models for one or two levels of alarm and can range from one to six sensors connected to the controller. On the one level systems the calibrations are carried out on the controller and on the two level systems the calibration is carried out on the sensor. For demonstration purposes we shall use one channel unit for both the one and two level systems. For the one level systems Monitor ground or zero at pin 4 on the CAL header shown here on the controller. The standby voltage output in clean air can be monitored on pin 2 CN1. The adjustment for the standby voltage is by P1. The alarm voltage can be monitored on pin 1 of the CAL header and the adjustment is done at P3. The delay on the unit is set by jumper JP1 and should be moved to the off position to remove delay. The jumpers are normally red or black in colour. Removing the jumper silences the sounder and disables the alarm relay. Before starting, inform the occupants, plant operators and or supervisors of the test. Check MGD connections to external equipment and disconnect if required. Deactivate the delay on level 1 system by moving jumper JP1 to the off position. Before performing your test, the MGD must be powered up overnight. The electrical setup of the one level system will be shown using channel 1 for demonstration purposes. The rating label on the side of the MGD sensor gives you the standby voltage and alarm voltage factory set points. These values were established during the initial factory calibration of the unit. So with your voltmeter between pin 4 on the CAL header and pin 2 on CN1, check and record the voltage. If different to the label factory voltage, then adjust P1 to the standby voltage as per the rating label. Move the positive lead from pin 2 CN1 to pin 1 on the CAL header and adjust P3 to 3.5 volts or as per the alarm voltage as shown on the rating label. There are two types of bump test. The quantified bump test uses a known concentration of gas and the non-quantified bump test uses a non-known concentration. For a one level system connect the voltage meter between pin 4 on the CAL header and pin 2 on CN1. Once the sensor starts to see the gas, this voltage should increase. For a quantified test you need to use a calibration cylinder for the target gas at the concentration as specified on the rating label or higher. Having carried out the electrical setup, expose the sensor to the gas here. You should see the standby voltage increase. It may take 10 to 15 minutes to pass the alarm set point. Older sensors may take longer. Once you've reached the alarm set point, the red LED will come on and the sounder, if enabled, will activate. The relay should also activate on the controller. The sounder can be muted by removing jumper JP1. Having carried out the electrical setup and with the voltmeter connected between pin 4 on the CAL header and pin 2 on the CN1, with your known target gas and desired range, expose the sensor to the gas and allow the standby voltage to climb. Once the voltage stops climbing and stabilises, adjust P1 until it is in alarm approximately 50 mV above the alarm set voltage. The MGD will now be in alarm and the relay should activate. Remove the gas and allow the sensor to fully recover and record this new standby voltage for future calibration reference in the system log 
and on the rating label. The sounder can be silenced by removing jumper JP1.